Hi there, there's Daniel. Hi. Colin, Hi. Colin from AU guys, pleased to meet oh, you. Hey, how's it going? Good to Very you. good. Um, now, I understand that this is actually based on some true events that you've taken and built on. Yes, when I say true events, I overheard a story essentially about a mother who eloped and was, I would say, not lying about her, her past life, but kind of denying her, her background. And it, it was wrapped up in all sorts of things to do with shame, generational trauma. Um, there were racial complexities to that, maybe internalized racism as well. And yeah, all those things just seemed like really exciting and interesting things to delve into. Uh, and, and then to sort of elevate those things into a genre space afterwards. And I think it was Oscar Wilde said, we, we are each our own devil and we make this world our hell. Is that true of Neve? Oh, I like that. That's, that's, really, that's really interesting. Um, I think it is true of her, yeah. I think the way I'd always think about Neve is that she's almost like a, she's Darwinian in nature. Like her, her whole, the whole way she operates is self, it's about self-survival. It's about her survival and nothing else, which is really controversial for a woman, for a mother, you know, to be that way inclined. So I, I, when me and Ashley would talk about the character, we would, we talk about the character in that. It was, um, we had a phrase on set, which was um, me, me versus them, basically. And there seems to be a kind of strata of society that seems to aspire to ev evading consequences of any shape or size. Is that something that she, you think she's trying to do? I think with, when you're dealing with, um, say, narcissistic personality disorder, you know, I think you're, you're dealing with a character who is unable really to hold a space for other people's pain. And so I, I think with Neve, I don't even think it's a conscious thing. I think she just has this inability to really take responsibility for, for her actions. And so she runs each time she just runs. So, yeah. And how much did you bring from your stagecraft and all your stage writing into this? Because I'm thinking of the last scene in particular, yes. which is a very a fabulous set piece. Pretty intense. Pretty intense. Um, and Dan, um, yeah, very Dan. How, how was that getting, taking the actors through, firstly writing it, but also taking the actors through that as an experience? Oh, that is um, Sorry, say that again. Well, I, I wanted that last section to be a homage to my theatrical roots. So I deliberately, I think when I was writing the script, it just felt instinctively right that that the play would, it would be a real time scene, one location, and that, yeah, that it would sort of become an absurdist sort of play and situation. So I think those factors, yeah, fed into it, sort of becoming quite theatrical. And it was my favorite part to shoot with a movie as well, because you've just got all the actors, one location, and it's just about their emotions and their, you know, their imaginations and the language. Thank you so much for talking here to us and congratulations again. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys!